Hello people, welcome to my channel. My name is Davila. So first time here. Hi hi, welcome to the family. Please do well to check out my other videos. Make a decision to subscribe and do not forget to drop a comment video. To my returning subscribers, thank you guys for always coming back. You already know that I love you so much and I always anticipate hooking up with you guys. <laughs> Alright, so today I'm going to be doing something very different from the usual. And basically, I'm going to be having a kind of movie review. Yes, I told you guys, like on this channel, I am going to tread every path till I hit the mark. <laughs> So, I am going to do a very quick movie review. This movie is titled Lockdown. So, that was yesterday. I was so bored and I felt like, what can I do after doing all the necessary things I had to do? Let's just sit down, chill with Netflix. Okay, thank God for Netflix. <laughs> that was how I so sat down and I watched this movie on Netflix. And so, before I go into today's video, I want to tell you that in case you haven't watched the movie get ready for a spoiler alert i'm sorry but i think you might just even listen to my spoiler alert first i mean to this review first before going ahead to watch the movie i mean it could just trigger you did i watch the movie or not so i'm going to be giving my take about the things that i liked about the movie the things i did not enjoy i'm also going to be talking about the few things i know about the characters that played in that particular movie Although I am not a movie expert, okay, so I'm just going to be talking like a layman that watches the movie and I'm going to give my pick about it. So let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video. Alright, so the movie basically addresses or address, sorry, because it's past tense now, address a particular current social trend at that time, which was the popular COVID 19. Guys, I know you remember <laughs> that year was not funny. Almost everything was on a standstill, and we're grateful to God that we actually overcame it. So that's just the central theme of that movie, and let's talk about the characters. Okay, so in the movie, all right, so we had the likes of Chioma Akota, we had the likes of Tony Mace, we had the likes of Omotola Jela De Kende, our uh, evergreen veteran actress. <laughs> if you watch our movies back in the days. Ah uh, and um, Jenny Babe Energy, you would know what I'm talking about. Like bringing a uh, spring queen at that time, but more like spring goddess. Like if they're not in any movie that you watch, that would generally work back then. You feel like that movie will not be top notch. You get. We had likes of Chinozo Aruba, Jude Kene, and the likes. So basically, I'm going to be saying some few things about the key actors and actresses in this. Let's start with Jude Kene. I think Jide Kene, in that particular movie, it was Spice Belly Brand, and uh, like I think he actually acted out his role well, so well, yet I would not even like us. I know it takes like to act a role in that kind of manner, like he did so well. So moving on to the next actress, which is Choma Akota. I don't know whether I've got the pronunciation, but she's not Choma now, okay? Now, we know Choma is... Mm, yeah, I love my ass for her. She's good at what she does. Absolutely good. Now, she actually played her role well as well. I mean, she totally displayed, displayed the character of a typical Nigerian nun. Not friendly. Like, I don't know whether it's a working condition that is not so appealing to them or their pay or whatnot. I don't know. Because I feel like any job that has to do with life, I feel like people have to take it with joy. Like, you do it out of this kind of excitement that you enjoy what you're doing. It's not only nothing though, no. every profession has their own ups and downs. Oh, to Tony Umez, gosh, this guy, it's been a while too, because I think I haven't been seeing much of his face in most of our movies, but in this particular role, I will give it to him. I don't know why everybody's getting my praises, right? But I'll give it to him, because really, <laughs> it wasn't the lover boy we usually meant to be in most movies. It was this particular role, gosh, his facial expression was totally giving like i could feel the effect of what was feeling like the impact <laughs> i had a, a kind of you know connection with the character he played because he, he really played out the role he was given like was this man who had a wife who was you know dying and he needed funds to make sure the wife wife gets treated and the end 
I don't want to spoil it really too much, but basically, <laughs> his eyes, expression, facial expression, I mean, is so sweet. Uh, that's our favorite queen girl, Dima Okoje, who is now married. Okay, as in this babe, I don't know, I enjoy her character. I would not like, like, she has played in quite a number of movies I've watched recently, and I must say that she does a good job. Okay. In this particular movie, she played the role of a young, promising graduate. Yes, school, you're done with NYC, I had to go about looking for a job. And that was exactly the role she played in that movie. <laughs> hey, girl, though, is it only me? I don't really enjoy when I see most Nigerian comedians acting in a movie role. Because especially when it doesn't have to do with comedy. I mean, well, maybe I'm just being too critical, but... I cringe at their sight in movies. I'm like, now, in this movie, I had a popular IG comedian, Josh so funny. And trust me, I don't know, maybe I'm the only one who doesn't find his jokes funny or I'm just being too serious. Please, if you are a fan of Josh so funny, drop in the comment section, okay? Okay. So, this particular comedian, well, he kind of tried, but there was a particular scene where I obviously was totally disconnected i did not feel it at all so our screen goddess omotola jola day a king day omolumi <laughs> this particular babe yeah she tried i would not say she did not try yeah of course she's a veteran so i i, I wasn't expecting anything less or anything short of excellence okay but at the same time i felt like okay maybe there could have been much more added to our role okay because she actually played the role of a cmg in a very popular hospital in lagos in the movie and the hospital was faced with the challenge of a particular virus so there was a kind of little little lapses when it comes to professionalism but i would not blame her i think that that could have been corrected with the advice of the director i'm going to dive into the things that i liked about the movie and the first point is the fact that the movie actually address a current social issue as at that time as at the time of production okay at least it's something that we can relate to okay? the second thing i enjoyed i liked or liked about the movie is that the movie was quite captivating and funny guys initially when it got to that point where those guys were locked down in the hospital because of that foreigner who was infected let's talk about the plus in the movie okay what are the things that did not miss the mark for me right so i have like almost seven points here but i'm going to be i'm going to try as much as possible to limit it so that i don't cause any kind of mark down for the movie okay yes i'm not a movie review analyst now the first one was the fact that guys what do you think about do you think it's realistic for someone to win a country i think country for someone to have won a lottery okay and it's not a small amount of money. We are talking about something worth 10 million naira, right? Cash. 10 million naira. Sum of 10 million naira. And you are presenting the check to the person, like, on the street. When it's not a philanthropic act, or as I put it now, I felt somehow, like, I felt like it wasn't realistic. No matter what, it is meant to be given at the office of the lottery company, not on the street or in 